Hi, I am Yogesh. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the process of deploying Pijanwin 4 using Docker Compose. Docker Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. By using Docker Compose, we can orchestrate how the application or services start in the container by the single command. To deploy pgadmin using docker compose, you need to create first docker compose.yml file. I have already created docker compose yml file. Here is my docker compose yml file. It contains two services. One postgres for postgres sql database and other is pgadmin. The postgres service has container name tag which overrides the default container name. An image tag which specifies the image to start a container from. In this case, we are using Postgres 15 version. The environment tag is the list of environment variables supported by the container image for database configurations. It includes Postgres user, Postgres password and a database name. Also, Port stack specifies a port for the Postgres service. Volume stack specifies the named volumes for database files and data. The pgadmin service has following options. Similar to Postgres, I have used container name tag to override default container name and an image tag which specifies the pgadmin image to be used for the container creation. The pgadmin docker image supports multiple environment variables. Here we have specified the username with the variable pgadmin underscore default underscore email and the password corresponding to the same user in the variable pgadmin underscore default underscore password. pgadmin underscore config is a variable prefix that can be used to override any of the configuration options available in the pgadmin's config.py file. Here, I have overridden the check email deliverability configuration by specifying pgadmin underscore config underscore check underscore email underscore deliverability equals to false. Map port 5050 on host machine to container port 80. The volume tag specifies the location for application files like database, application files, etc. You can map an external file containing server information to preload using server.json. This is my servers.json file. The host specified is the service name which we specified for the Postgres service. A health check for pgadmin container can be configured inside a health check tag. Finally, volumes are the actual directory name in a docker volume directory which we mapped earlier. pgdata for the Postgres and pgadmin-data for the pgadmin container. Let's create a container using docker compose file. Here is my docker compose file and this is a config folder where my servers.json exists. Let's run first docker compose config to validate our docker compose file. As we did not receive any error, our docker compose file is valid. Now to deploy the services run the command docker compose up hyphen d. Let's check if the services are running successfully. We can use the command docker compose ps. The ports column here indicates that pgadmin is running on port 5050 and can be accessed with localhost. Let's log into pgadmin by using the email and the password specified in the compose file. As we specified server information inside server.json, the server is added to the browser tree. Let's connect to the server. Enter the password specified for Postgres server in Postgres service. If you have Docker desktop installed, you can view the running container. Here is a pgadmin container. Click on the container. You can access the logs from the logs tab. You can inspect your pgadmin container and its environment variables. With the terminal tab, you can log in into container and 
run some command. To stop the docker compose service, just execute a command docker compose down. So that's it for today. Get the pgadmin deployed quickly with the docker compose and start using it. Thank you.